Jay Morrison believes that asking your government for reparations is extremely foolish. Yesterday, Jay Morrison uploaded a video on his Instagram page where he was speaking about the reparations hearing that happened last week. And a link to that video will be in the description below. And he first started off by saying that he agrees that black people in this country deserves reparations. And then he turned around and said, but to ask the people who captured you, brutalized you, and victimized you for reparations is extremely foolish. And I find that statement problematic and disingenuous when the brother's entire business model is based upon government subsidies and government programs. I've been on countless Jay Morrison streams, live streams where he's spoken about how you can utilize FHA loans. An FHA loan is a loan that is subsidized by the federal government, which allows you to only put down three and a half percent to acquire a piece of property, whereas conventional lending would make you have to put down 20%. So he's using a government program, but then saying to you that you shouldn't be lobbying your government so that you can get the proper aid that's necessary. Also, look at the Tulsa Real Estate Fund. That whole project was made possible because Barack Obama passed the Jobs Act in 2012, as well as he changed some laws and regulations around crowdfunding, which allowed people to pool their money together to make investments. So here it is on one of the spectrum, he's telling you that asking your oppressors for aid or for them to pay you a debt that's owed to you is foolish, but then yet he's utilizing government programs and subsidies to build his entire business. See, the problem with people like Boyce Watkins and Jay Morrison is that because they are able to achieve individual success, they somehow create these brands and create these products and services and tell you that if you just follow their Black Wealth Bootcamp or if you just go through their academy, you can achieve the same success that they've achieved in their lives. But what you have to begin to understand is that seven to nine out of 10 businesses fail within their first year. See, they highlight all of the successes and they tell you if you follow them, you could be successful just like them, but they don't highlight the failures and the shortcomings. I've been an entrepreneur now for over 11 years. My first five years as an entrepreneur was brutal. Now, the last six has been beautiful, but understand, I've taken 10,000, 20, 30, 40,000 dollar losses, half a million dollar losses. I've taken big losses in my career and I don't wish entrepreneurship on anyone. See, it's very easy to sell someone aspiration and give them empowerment speeches and give them empowerment talks. But the reality of the situation is this, black people don't have any money as a collective. And when you're out here and you're pushing these messages to people and trying to make them believe that they can be successful just like you, and you're not really looking at the data and the information, that's highly problematic. As if you've been following me, you would see recently I was in St. Louis and I was out there tending to some real estate deals. And you could literally go block after block after block in certain neighborhoods and there's nothing but abandoned buildings and just empty warehouses and empty factories. And then you could go five minutes down the block and you see a vibrant neighborhood and a bunch of money pouring into there. That's gentrification that's happening there where you can get a piece of property literally for 10, 15 grand in certain parts of St. Louis. That's structural poverty. You're not going to flashcard your way out of that. You're not going to JMA Academy your way out of that because those problems weren't created by individuals. Those problems were created by government. Now, again, I'm a capitalist. I believe in capitalism and I believe in what Jay Morrison is doing for people who has who have the means and the resources to be entrepreneurs by all means necessary. Please chase your dreams. But we know that a majority of our people, they just don't have money. And what woke me up to this is that I make great money. I live here in New York City. I live a great lifestyle but most of my friends and family are poor. So most of the money I make is constantly going back to my family. So when Antonio Moore is speaking, is talking about he still has to send his mother money, I can relate to that. I still have to help my mother pay her rent. I got a brother in prison. I have to help take care of his two kids. I have cousins and family members who need help with their, their groceries and help with their rent. So while I may make good money, most of my money goes to taking care of my friends and family because they're poor. And that's the reality for most people who are American descendants of slavery. They do not have any money. 
as I get before, like I said, I'm not here to hate on Jake Morrison. I'm not here to bash him. I think that what he's doing is noble. But when it comes to this reparations thing, I think that his statements are highly problematic and they're just flat out disingenuous. I don't care if you support ADOS. I don't care if you support NARC. I don't care if you are a part of Encobra. Whatever reparations platform you are trying to get behind, it is okay with me. I'm not one of these people who has ADOS or nothing. But if you're critiquing these movements or critiquing reparations and, you know, trying to, I guess, build a celebrity or have critiques and you're not a part of an organization, you're just getting in the way. And the best thing to do is literally get out of the way because you're talking about not lobbying the government, but yet, as I just showed you, you're utilizing government to build your business and to build wealth. So it's okay for you to utilize the government and ask the government for things, but we can't ask the government for things. Because see, what you're doing is you're taking advantage of a loophole and a glitch in the matrix, but that's an individual thing. Reparations is a collective thing that's gonna lift all boats, not just your boat. So again, I'm not here to bash the brother, but it's disingenuous when you're utilizing government programs to build wealth, but then trying to critique people and criticize people for them lobbying their government who created these problems in the first place.